What's going on guys, it is Devo here and tons of you have been commenting in my TikTok comment section, in my YouTube comment section, wanting the XP glitch. You can go ahead and do a third inning program in a few hours. Well, I got it for you here today. I'm going to give you a little heads up, right? When I click on this tab, you're be like, why do you only have that much XP? I was not home yesterday. I streamed for an hour last night on Twitch. So I played some events, but that doesn't give you a lot of XP. The XP glitch I'm going to show you today is how you go ahead and do it in a couple hours. So if you're wondering why do I only have 10,000 XP, it's because I played events. I did not do the glitch yet. I'm going to be doing the glitch later tonight probably or tomorrow morning whenever I have time. I'm not in no rush. I'm at 800,000 stubs. So if you need the subs, definitely, definitely take advantage of this XP glitch. Get this done ASAP. You should sell the bosses for like 130k. I think they're going for right now. You get a bunch of diamond packs along the way. A bunch of headliner packs. Spawn is a habit pack. You get another headliner there. You get a five pack bundle here. A set nine here. Another gold ball player. You get a ball and is at 410. You got a 10 pack bundle at 440. You get a, another 10 pack at 530. Then ball player 560. Space three pack at 590. And a live series player pack at 650. And yes, this glitch is very, very efficient. And not only do you get a crab ton of XP along the way, you get a ton of stubs along the way as well. Not even counting third in program. Just by doing the glitch, you get stubs too. So first things first, yes, it is a ball player's glitch. Some of you may know what it is, some of you may not. Some of you may heard of it, maybe you think you know what it is. I'm gonna give you the best way to go ahead and do this right now. All right, so first things first, come up to the top left corner, hit on your profile icon, and this is your loadout for your ball play, all right? As you can see, I have a 99 overall, but there are tons of archetypes, so you can go ahead and choose whichever one. If we click on this one, as you can see, I have five diamond archetypes, so I am, I've been doing this glitch. I did it all for the second program, and it works really, really well. Okay, first things first, what you want to go ahead and do is select a bronze if you do not have a silver yet. Okay, some of you probably are starting at bronze still, so you're going to select a bronze, but it's going to be a hitter. Trust me, it has to be a hitter. So go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and do spark plug. Let's say you're new, go ahead and do spark plug because that's one of the best archetypes to go ahead and do. And once you click on that, I did the program ready, but you play through this, you don't play through this program. The way it works is you'll tally stats like crazy. It's a big big bug in the game that they have yet to fix it's been like a month now so that just shows you only shows urgency on things like this but you'll get tons and tons of xp along the way as well as packs and stubs it's a it's just so so good i want to show you when you get to here right on the spark plug program path this is only the bronze as you can see the final one is 5000 xp but not only you're getting 5000 xp at this archetype pack you also get it at the stub pack at the stub spot at 80 stub spot at 50 and the stub spot at 20. so you're getting 20,000 xp from this and it'll take you like 20 minutes to go ahead and do the bronze on max 20 minutes max okay it's not gonna take you long now let's go ahead and show you the silver right if we hop into a silver one we'll just go ahead and do slick spark plug i don't really care which one i choose this one is 6,000 xp a pop so you get 6,000 here at 80 at 50 and at 20 so that's 24,000 xp right there again you're gonna take you 20 25 minutes to go ahead and do now let's go ahead and show you the gold one we'll go ahead and hit the spoke it doesn't really matter which one we choose we scroll all the way down you're getting 8,000 pop for this one so you get 8,000 here at 80 at 50 and at 20 so that's another 32,000 xp once again gonna take you 20 25 30 minutes max okay now you go ahead and hit the diamond and this is where you make the most xp and the most stubs so we'll go ahead and hit the spoke once again but the diamond tier as you can see you make 11,000 xp so you're getting 11,000 xp at 180 50 and 20 so that's 44,000 xp and you also get diamond equipment packs at 70 and 90 it's gonna that's gonna give you around like 20k a piece of those so i'll give you another 40,000 stubs just by doing this glitch and eventually if you run out of the archetype let's say you max out spoke for example all you have to go ahead and do is just restart restart and you'll just tally up even more xp it might take you like two archetypes to go and do two to three to go ahead and max out third in program and it's really really not going to take you long and you're probably wondering well how do i even go ahead and do this well i'm going to show you right now we're going to be rocking raw hide for this glitch just want to let you guys know i am at zero program stars so it's brand new for the gold one Brand new, I don't have any more bronze to go ahead and do, so that's why I'm doing the gold. And what you have to do first things first, come up to the create tab all the way at the top right corner. It's the paintbrush. Go ahead and hit vault. You're going to switch to roster by hitting R1 on your controller. Then hit search but with your square button, or I think it's X on Xbox. And go ahead and search up, I think it's L S C R T T S grind. I think that's what it is. Shout out to Light Skin Chris for this one. Then you made this roster, so... Shout out to him. I think this is where you go ahead and do it. And it should have like 
really like 30,000 plus downloads. It should have a ton. I just saw it right here. 39,947 downloads. So there you go. By the time you see this, it might be about 40,000. Who knows, but definitely go ahead and you have to download this one. The PSN will be YT Light Skin Chris. Go ahead, hit download, and then you go ahead and just save this one right into your PS4 or Xbox, whichever you have. And after you go ahead and download that roster, then come to Road to the Show, hit Square on, and then you're going to hit Start New. Set up the ball player, just make sure you have the right art type, and you can go ahead and back out of this one, it doesn't really matter. Then go ahead, load, save rosters, and you're going to go ahead and use the one you just downloaded. So LSC, Road to the Show Grind. Click on that one and let it load in. All right, so here we go. When your coach asks you what team do you want to play for, you're going to go ahead and hit there's one team I've heard from more than a couple times. He asks the Giants, and you're going to say, no, coach, he's actually one of their NOS rivals. He doesn't ask the Giants right away, and just narrow it down to get to the Rockies, because that's where you want to play. I want to play in Colorado for the Rockies. And your coach will go ahead and get you on the Rockies. And just wait through this animation. It'll take you like 10, 15, 20 seconds. Sim through that once you get the chance. Right after the, uh, the logo of the team you're playing on pops up on the phone, you can go ahead and sim through that right after that. So I'll pick up with it right when we're done with this. This is your first cutscene right here, and this is really, really important, all right? He's asking you to be a two-way player. This doesn't matter for the two-way player just yet. I'm just going to go ahead and hit I'm game. Let's try it. And when he says, where do you see yourself playing in the infield? Well, in the field, go ahead, hit somewhere in the infield, and go ahead, hit first base. This will allow you to get tons and tons more putouts. It's like double the amount of putouts you'll get in the infield, such as shortstop or second base. You're gonna, it's just going to allow you to do the program that much faster. It's going to shorten your time completely. Now when you're in this screen, after you go ahead, I have the save limit. So I got to go ahead and clear up some space because of all the Road to the Show guys I've played. But go ahead, hit play, then hit view calendar, and you're going to go ahead and sim to Friday the 7th of May. This will allow you, this will get you to the cutscene, asking if you want to be a two-way player by your agent, and then that's when you go ahead and tell him no. Alright, so it appears that my cutscene was not on the 7th, so if it's not on the 7th, just sim a few more days into the future. It should pop up rather soon. Is this going to be it? Is this going to be it? Let's see. Yes, it is. Alright, so it's John Ken, your agent, asking you if you want to be a two-way player, and you're going to go ahead and hit, I don't like it, I prefer to focus on position play and hitting only. So allow you to just be a hitter and to not pitch at all, which is what we don't want to go ahead and do. We don't want to pitch because that doesn't help us in this program. All right, so now we're able to go ahead and actually play. And as you can see, these scores are wild on my calendar. We're running 40 nothing, 50 nothing, 69 nothing. Okay, the scores are wild, and that's only going to get better. In some games, some games, you're going to score thousands of runs. Thousands and thousands of runs. It, it's completely random. All right, there's no way to control it. There's no way to know when you're gonna go ahead and get it. It is completely random. And just know, once you get that big game, you're like halfway through that program. So let's say you're doing the bronze, you get a big game, you're like halfway through, or maybe even fully through with the program just by that one game. Now we can go ahead and just hop into a game now and just show you like how it works, how the glitch actually works. So let's go ahead and play in this game. We're playing on the 14th. Go ahead, hit play next appearance, and go ahead and load into this one. Hit play game. Select the loadout you want to use. If you have multiple, I'm using loadout two right here because it's the rawhide I think we chose. Let's go ahead and load into this one. I'll show you what to do next. Once you go ahead and load into this game, just hit pause, right? Hit pause, go to exit, and hit simulate and exit. It's as easy as that. Then hit just circle to skip throughout the game. And as you can see, we're tallying up runs really, really easily. Eight in inning, nine in inning, boom. 36 nothing victory right there. Let's see how we did for the game. And we got five for eight with a home run and double. So all those stats, the five for eight, went straight to my program. And I didn't have to play it. Okay, I really don't know how San Diego Studios has allowed this to happen for over, since the beginning of the game, really. Beginning of the game, there's a ball player glitch. And this is the best one yet, and they're still, still allowing it. So we're just going to go ahead and you just keep on loading to these games and simming through them. Just keep on loading in and simming through them. It's really as easy as that. Let's see how we did in this one. Two for six with a home run and four ribbies. Okay, just keep on doing this. It's repetitive, yeah. But play some, watch some Netflix, watch some YouTube, do some homework. Who knows and who cares? Just get something done while you do this. There's no point in just watching your screen sim through like an hour, two hours of doing this. Just do something else while you're doing it because this won't take any energy to go ahead and do. You don't even have to look at the screen half the time when doing this. It's like three buttons. Pause. Hit one arrow on the left, take you to the right side of the screen, hit simulate and exit. It's as easy as that. Now let's go ahead and load it into another series. One thing I want to know, all right, as you can see, once we load out of this game, you see no rewards. That is completely normal. Completely normal. Do not get alarmed, okay? You do not get XP from that. 
you do not get XP from simming. You get the XP from the program. So you get, like I said earlier, you get the 24,000 at bronze, no, 20,000 at bronze, 24,000 at silver, 32,000 at gold, and 44,000 at diamond. So let's go ahead and show you my ball player loadout real quick. Let's just check in on the program, how we've been doing. We're at zero so far because this program, it's a little like, I mean, Rawhide's not the best to go and do, but the best is probably Crime Dog because it's the best sim friendly because you get the most hits, most putouts, and all that. But as you can see, in three games, we got 29 putouts. We got eight out of 30 hits. So these are milestone ones. They're so obviously going to give you more. The putouts right here, we're one putout away from three um, three program points right there. We are 17 hits away from that. And we are 17 total plate appearances from that. Let's go ahead and sim into another series. That will that take us a minute to go ahead and sim. It takes like a minute to go ahead and sim. And now let's go ahead well, into another series and just rack up as much stats as possible hopefully we can get into a big game who knows cross our fingers for that one we'll go ahead and load into this one right now all right so here we go we load into this game now go ahead and pause go over to the exit sign and go ahead hit simulate and exit as you can see this game's actually pretty bad 18 nothing it's not one of our better games one for five so not one of our better games when it comes to sims still ain't on the big game You'll, you'll encounter the big games, trust me. And one thing I want to let you guys know, if you're still watching this point, if you encounter a big game, comment down below. Just let me know if you got into a huge game or not, okay? Because it's cool to see when you actually go ahead and get those. Now just go ahead, hit simulate and exit no matter what. And go ahead and see 19-0, 29-0 right there. 29-0 victory right there. 5 for 7, 3 doubles and 3 RBIs. That's a game you like to see. 3 extra base hits, boom. Let's go ahead and load into our next game of the series where we've been simming for this series like 40 seconds so far. Not much at all. And all I have to go ahead and do now is just hit simulate and exit. Here we go. Let's go ahead and pause. Simulate and exit. Gonna skip here. 10-0. Uh, 14, 18, 20, 21, 25, 25, nothing. It's Somerset Patriots. We went 5 for 6 with a home run and 5 ribbies. Now let's go ahead. We should have some program progress with these three games. Definitely gave us some points on the program. Let's go ahead and see just where we're at. Now let's go ahead and check in on our ball player view program. And we are 5 earned so far. So not bad for 2 minutes of doing this, you'll say. You think about 2 minutes of doing this, it'll take like half hour to go ahead and do this at the rate I'm doing it at. But we haven't even been gaining that much. We haven't even got a big game just yet. And this is the gold level. So progressively it'll get longer and longer so maybe bronze will take 20 minutes silver will 25 gold 30 diamond 35 40 who knows but as you can see milestone progress looking pretty good 62 put out so far four assists you're not going to get too much with first base but that's that's whatever it doesn't really matter stolen bases they are just non-existent in sim no one knows how to get them 19 hits so far so close to that milestone right there we are at 30 put outs in the progress we're at 21 for that four assists like i said 19 hits and zero out of 40 total plate appearances let's go ahead do one more series sim we'll go ahead hope for a big game if not we'll just go ahead and load out and i'll close out the video from there all right so when this game went two for six with a home run and four rbis let's go ahead and load into our next one really it's just it's honestly it's kind of like crazy i know i said this earlier how sds just like allows this because they haven't taken it out yet i'm sure they're completely swarmed by server issues but like I don't even know. It just makes the ball player like so glitchy because you can have a ball player throwing submarine 100 miles an hour, submarine 100 miles an hour, and then have a changeup that throws like 72. How are you supposed to hit that? How? I don't know. If you know how, let me know. If you know how, let me know. All right, let's go ahead and roll into the last game of the series. See a big game. Let's see a big game. Come on. Come on. Let's see one. All right, let's load into this one and boom. Go ahead, hit pause, simulate and exit. And here we go, two in the first, ten in the third, five, or one in the fifth, four in the seventh, two in the eighth, and two in the ninth, 22 nothing W right there. We went 0 for 5, ill. But we'll go ahead and load out, see how the program is progressing so far, and we'll take the video to a close after that. Alright, so if we take a look at our ball player, three series in, we are at 11 points earned, okay? 11 points earned, good, really good progress so far, and almost at 100 put outs, so that's going to give us another four. So we're at 11 so far. And the crazy thing is, like, not only are you maxing out the third inning program in a day, because you can do it in a few hours doing this, you are also getting upwards of, like, 100,000 stubs by with the diamond equipment packs by doing this. It's crazy. It's, like, it's a win-win, win-win XP glitch. 
okay? Because not only are you getting the XP, getting tons of stubs from doing the glitch that aren't even a part of the threatening program. So if you need Chipper Jones or if you want stubs to go ahead and buy cards, this is a must do at the time right now. But that's all I have for you guys in today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sure a lot of you guys knew about this, but TikTok comment section, my YouTube comment section, all flooded with these questions. How do I do the XP glitch? How, how, how? Well, this is how you do it, all right, boys? I hope you enjoyed. Got, I got to get on my XP grind. I'm at 10K. I'll be done with it by tonight or tomorrow morning. Who knows, but I'll be done soon. All right, boys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like. That will video grow and reach tons more people. Comment anything you want to comment. Let's say you have a question about this. Comment down below. I'll get back to you. Trust me, I'll get back to you, all right? Just comment anything. Don't be afraid. And consider subscribing to the channel. So we're on the road to 3,600 subscribers. We're at 35, 33 right now. So 67 away. Three days. Three days. All right. We'll see. We'll see. Thanks for supporting recently. Peace.